Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, I'm going to be doing a new series on the Ticket uh, pack uh, using the Ticket launcher. Uh, that's why it's currently saying 1.1, 1 .1, and that's as high as it works for right now. It does not work with 1.2.3, but that's okay. We will deal with it for a little while for this Let's Play. Get everything working, and then whenever we get it over to the new one, we'll see what needs to be done. Um, if nothing else, we can just save the base and everything we create in it. Hopefully, I can get MC Edit working with this. Uh, save the base and everything that's created in it, um, and then uh, just import it into a new world and keep uh, everything else separated as much as we can. But uh, I'm already well into it. I recorded the last four or five days um, of playing with the entire uh, how to make everything and uh, you know everything else that we've done. But uh, let's let this load up here. Okay, so here we are, and let's go ahead and get out of here for a little bit because those machines and everything sure are getting noisy. Um, Let's go ahead and turn the sound down here. Okay, so basically, um, we s in the other one, I started off, found this little cubby, came in here, we drilled through, we, we mined all this stuff down here, we've been to the nether, um, been down there, made a farm, uh, did a ton of test mining. <laughs> Uh, and then a whole lot of strip mining once we got down to the level 16s. Like all this is all from strip mining. Uh, went through, found lots of ores, lots of everything. And ravines, everything else. Uh, I walked through showing how to make some of the simple machines that I am currently learning on. Um, but making a playthrough or a let's play while watching a let's play kind of not a good idea because I was going through editing my videos and noticing that it was almost exactly as theirs and they got better production value and everything so why watch mine so instead of going step by step on exactly how they did now that I've done uh, quite a bit here and uh, we'll show you some of the things that we have done here. We've got some simple machines built, found some marble, uh, a lot of glowstone, uh, got tons of uh, batteries and extractors, and got a macerator here, some pumps, some tubes, some furnaces, and you know pretty pretty much uh, a ton <laughs> a ton of stuff um, and uh, built this little house and then once we got better we built up higher and got everything set up here equivalent exchange going you know pretty much the works however I didn't really want to just destroy everything um, and all this was done legit over the last four or five days. Uh, I recorded everything step by step just how I will with the next one. But without knowing how to do a lot of this stuff and a lot of the recipes and getting everything set up, there's a lot of ums and, you know, just I felt myself that it would be a little bit boring. Um, but what we're going to do first of all is... I didn't do this the whole thing, but we're going to go ahead and do this. Just so you can kind of see what all is going to be going on here. And uh, this is the house that we built. And solar panels. And again, all this is 100% legit. Took me the last five or six days to do all this. Uh, we got some windmills for when the sun's gone, some solar panels all coming down into a couple of different batteries. Uh, 
found some oil wells. Haven't built anything for him yet. So I will probably keep this uh, keep this world, but just not do a lot to... Man, there's a lot of creepers. There's four creepers right there. Um, but yeah, I pretty much found this hill and built from here. Um, this whole area was trees. Uh, the cubby that I started in was down here. And decided, okay, well let's build the base on top. And then I had to build this on top of there because I had way too many chests full, wasn't getting organized or anything like that. Uh, now that I know what the marble looks like and I can see the contrast of stuff, I really like the marble. I like the marble and the uh, birch wood in this texture pack. They go really well together. That's marble brick. And that's just regular marble. And that's the birch wood. To me, like that room right there for the house looks awesome. Uh, I'm going to be doing this mainly uh, the, as they say, the scientist method with the uh, build craft and industrial craft and things like that. But we'll have some equivalent exchange mixed in as well, mainly because of none of this would be possible all these pipes um, main, mainly the pipes uh, the batteries would be possible the generators up there wouldn't be as possible and everything without using equivalent exchange and basically the easiest way I got that first of course I had to find a diamond first which was the, the big pain I've only technically found five, I think, so far out of all that mining, and it wasn't all that fun. But uh, with equivalent exchange, I can get a stack of iron ore. I'm not iron ore, but iron bars, copper bars, whatever, and put them in here and get a diamond after about two stacks. So it's really, really handy. Uh, it helps things go much, much faster. I really like the layout that I did here with this as well. Uh, so I will definitely be making a storage room exactly like this, but get it organized from the beginning. As well as eventually, my hope anyway, to have a basement like this with a whole bunch of machines uh, separating everything automatically and possibly even just uh, like how everything's coming up from here uh, you know going into their own chests so that way I would have pipes going across here going up to specific chests and you know getting it done that way you can do that with several different methods uh, but then that way all my ores and everything would all be stacked in all these chests really nice and neat and I wouldn't have to worry about it uh, another thing that I am eventually going to want to do, and hopefully uh, you guys can suggest this before I figure it out, is I want to make a set of machines that will of course incorporate into the big setup that I will have. That will go, and is there anything in this one? No. There's nothing in there, and I have nothing left to do. Um, I would like to make a machine that like whenever I'm down splunking whatever I want to do uh, digging everything else uh, to just put everything like say I have a chest here and then whenever I'm done I can just you know chunk everything into it as far as all the ores uh, of course, not not this type of stuff, but I mean, you get the idea. Like the lapis, the redstone, everything that I find uh, that I will not need, and then that way it's already pumping it out now and sorting it. So that way, all of my ores will automatically go to the appropriate emaciator, emaciator, <laughs> emaciator and furnace system, and then up into the appropriate. Um, chest for it for ores and things like that which will be pretty interesting to see uh, because you can make all the pipes that will 
do that correctly so I'll just have to do you know these setups for each individual thing that needs to be maciated and uh, refined and then you know they can all go into just one chest even if I needed it to um, and all of the other things like stone and things like that can be separated off to another set of chests um, and you know gems and everything can be separated to another set of chests as well but to just do it automatically now one thing that I have noticed is whenever you hook up one to a um, a chest there that it will only take out it'll start here and each one will only take out one thing at a time so you'll have both of them pulling out dirt but that's it until the dirt's gone and then go on to the next one and then go on to the next one and so on and so forth down the line what I would like is if there is a way and I don't care what it has to be because I'll get there eventually to actually get everything to where it'll pull out you know since this one's being pulled out from one to pull out this one to pull out this one to pull out, and just have you know multiple different feeds coming out here to get it done faster uh, if not I can use gold and get it done much faster and of course all the the more you have pulling out of it the faster these are going to come out and go into wherever they need to go just fine by me but I uh, would like to just have that set up if, if it's at all possible um, but again this is a tech it pack uh, it's generally for multiplayer servers but I didn't like the full t um, technology pack the whole thing uh, it was too many mods uh, even this is a little bit too many mods for me normally but I can deal with it it doesn't have the too many creatures or anything like that um, and it, you know it works so that's going to be my basic plans uh, I'm going to do a, a basic hut like I did in this one uh, I'm finding a lot of marble underwater so kind of like how where clay is so hopefully going to find uh, a good place for clay and everything first and you know just start my basic uh, setup there I like to do it near an ocean uh, now one thing I do like about this setup here is this right here this is a perfect cove for the type of base that I want to do I want to do a circular base and as you can see it would go perfect to where I can do everything down there uh, a circular base kinda like how I did in one of my other videos started and that way I've got water all around me and I can control my spawns so I don't have stuff spawning on me all the time I uh, have a railroad system that will be pumping you out uh, like this would be perfect because there's a gigantic oil uh, geyser right here that I have already followed it down and this is a big one um, I could have enough energy from this to last me for quite a while uh, as you can see here it goes quite a ways down here um, let me just go ahead and see if uh, let me get down here yeah here we go so it goes quite a ways down and this oil geyser itself would be perfect for what I want um, and then it spills out into here so I mean this would be awesome to be able to have this uh, I may write down the seed and just spawn in the same world uh, it's a little bit of cheating because I know where some stuff is but you know it's still gonna be legit just a good you know I'll just be knowledgeable of everything so that's gonna be this new ticket series that I'm making um, I'm not gonna get too much in depth as far as <sighs> you know all the different packs in it um, I will whenever I'm making stuff I will try to uh, record whenever you know we're making the first one of something like the first time I make a event circuit or the first time that we make a cog or um, you know whenever we're actually making you know wires and uh, things like that I won't walk in through how to do chests or you know any of the vanilla stuff because well most of us already know that if you want complete every recipes of everything it's okay but if you get this texture or this technic pack 
this is something that I really really like if say you don't know how to make something now see all these flat covered I'd like to get rid of all that because it's just stuff that I will not use um, but let's say we were wanting to make this diamond drill that I've got hit the, the R key when we bring it up it shows you that you need a regular dr mining drill and three diamonds well if you want to know how to do that you do it again it says refined iron electronic circuit and our reusable battery well what if you don't know how to do re electric circuit you hit R again and it shows you how to do that or cables you hit R again or copper you know and basically it walks you through any way that you need to do it um, it's a very simple uh, thing and it's probably how I will be explaining it is I will probably just instead of walking through how I make it I will you know just be going in depth and building this stuff on my own time and showing you okay so we used a wrench this time and here's how you make it so and that's not the recipe that I used but okay um, I just used uh, some bronze and put it in a wrench shape and it worked for me I don't know why that one's showing differently but uh, yeah th that's basically what we're going to do and uh, I really really like this marble. <laughs> uh, the seed's pretty long and it was random so I might try a couple more and if I can't find one I'll come back to this and make one but um, that's what we're going to be doing guys. Uh, I really really like this Technic pack or Ticket pack I guess you can say and I think this may be what's going to be responsible for getting me back into Minecraft and actually doing something rather than just kind of what we were doing before. Oh, here's my base. Here's still my base. Oh, look, I died. You know, uh, really actually go through and making stuff and trying to make something of this game for me. Um, I still don't play well that much. What's in here? What kind of. There's a spawner. There's a zombie spawner right here. I didn't, br I didn't cut this out. This is naturally formed. That's odd I must be over here 15 20 times and I never saw that uh, well, that's kinda cool uh, the world just created it that way uh, I haven't come across any villages which is a little bit odd um, let's see here's another really deep oil well there's some obsidian right there which is good and this I've already been to Let's see, there's, oh no, this one I haven't been to. But, uh, that's good. That'll get that out. But then I do believe it's also going down as well. So, all this should be oil as well here. So, you know, I mean, some of these things are going to be really, really helpful. And some things aren't going to be as helpful. And, you know, I'm just going to do it to get back into the love of playing the actual game for change. And, uh, you know, that is a gigantic oil well. <laughs> I think, I think this is all oil. <laughs> if this is all oil, I'm definitely respawning this world and building everything right there. Because I've never seen in anybody's playthrough with an oil well that's that big and that deep. So, yeah. Anyway, off topic. Sorry. Uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and start the new... Um, the new version look up a couple of different things and if it's great good we'll use it if it's not we will go ahead and go to a couple of other ones and if nothing's working the way that I want it then we will go ahead and use this one and kind of build in the same place but now that I know what I'm doing it'll be a little bit faster a little bit uh, a little bit more fun and more educational rather than it's taken me 20 hours to get to point B, and you've watched all 20 hours to get me to point B. Uh, I know that's the, the whole main purpose of a Let's Play, but I like more along the lines of like Doc M's stuff, where he comes back and he shows you, okay, well this is what I did, this is what we changed, this is what we added, and then here's how we did it. So, probably what I will be doing is on my off time building, and then whenever I get ready to rec that way I'm not having to record every single because all this I recorded every single thing that I did 
So this way we can just get everything built up and then if you say, okay, well that's a macerator, how do you make a macerator? How do you make the chainsaw? You know, we can go through here and do it that way and you can take screenshots or whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this video for now. I think I've talked enough. I'm going to get it rendered and thrown up on my YouTube page and start a new playlist for it for Tech Kick. And, uh, you know, start this all from scratch and get everything going and hopefully find a better world if not we can use this one and it's pretty rich uh, it's not rich in diamonds at least for where I've been at so far but that just means since I really don't have to care about this anymore I can get a mining laser down here or a borer and um, let it do its thing <laughs> uh, maybe even set up a quarry uh, underground here and set up a quarry and just let it gather everything in a gigantic space and do it all from and make this my test world from now on. So uh, that's it for right now. Uh, stay tuned for episode two, and we will go through here. And I'm going to try to keep the episodes 10 to 15 minutes if possible. Um, that way they're not going to be too bad. And I'm kind of trying to have at least four or five changes on each one, so it gives us something to talk about. So please uh, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we're going to get this going. And if there's anything in specific that you guys would like to see, or if you have a channel that you want me to shout out, or, you know, any uh, if you want to get on the Tekkit pack and um, help me start, or if you have a server for Tekkit and you'd like me to join and do my videos on there, I'm always up for that as well. I don't have a multiplayer server that I currently play on right now, so it'd be nice to have one. So, alright guys, uh, like I said, this is the end of episode one, and I'll go ahead and start uh, looking for some stuff and do a basic intro for episode two and get everything going. <laughs>